So we're going out to eat tonight, but not in the way that you might think. Um, we packed a picnic basket that has a cook stove and all the things that you need to eat when you're out on the road, but you can still eat something that's home cooked and hot and delicious. Is everybody excited? Yeah! With the convenience of fast food, it's easy to fall into the trap of eating at a restaurant or going through the drive-thru on a busy day, especially on road trip days. This basket has been very convenient when there's nowhere to buy a quick meal. In many national parks or while driving across the country, there have been several times that we've been far away from convenience foods. We also enjoy slowing down and eating something with simple ingredients, something we've planned ahead to make. Because we take the time to do this, we get to see and experience things we wouldn't if we hadn't stopped for a little while to eat together. In fact, while we were at this park, my kids saw a wild animal that most people who live here have never slowed down enough to see. We've got a little clip we'll show you in just a little bit. Because our family's trying to eat healthier and several of us have food allergies, we've come up with a way that we can eat a hot cooked meal, even when we're not at home, especially when we're out on the road on our RV trips, but maybe we don't have our RV with us for that meal. We've assembled this kit, which includes a Coleman stove, a cooler, and this ultimate picnic box. And then sometimes we also bring a brown paper bag full of items that don't need to be refrigerated. This is our Coleman stove, pretty standard. Nothing special, nothing fancy, two burner. It takes these small green canisters you can pick up about anywhere. We like this stove and fuel source because they're small and we can take it wherever we want. Here's our cooler. I've got some apple kefir here. Who wants some? This is our picnic box. The ultimate picnic box, a manly picnic box. We got all kinds of goodies in here, but the kids are hungry. So we're gonna get the pork chop started, and then we'll go through this box, show you what's in it, tell you why we have it in here. So we've made this little sleeve. It holds our grill to help keep it from getting scratched. We're gonna put it on here, fire up the grill, get it hot so we can get dinner going. Hey, Grant. What? What did you guys see out in that field? A fox. A fox? Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? There it is. So we're going to start going through this box. This is our wash basin. This is also a steam tray for it from a commercial kitchen. That's where it comes from. We have a Stanley camp set. That's a bunch of pots and things. We'll pull that out in a minute. Went with a bunch of stainless steel plates. Here's the Stanley cook set. Got a pot, frying pan, we keep a bowl in the bottom. This is a big pot. It all nests together, which is really nice. Foldable arms. We have a bunch of these mugs or cups. We use them for all kinds of things, applesauce or drinks. A little bit of paper towels, some hot pads, in case you're cooking on a a uh, wood table or something you want to put a hot pan on and not burn. We have this waterproof bag. We keep all of our silverware in. We got knives, spoons, forks. The reason we like this bag is if we need to put dirty silverware in here, it helps keep it from getting our other stuff in here dirty. We have some spatula, spoon, knife with a case to keep it from stabbing you when you're not looking. We got some 
dish soap. This is pretty cool. It's got six different compartments. Salt, pepper, onion, cinnamon, garlic, those items. A whisk. We have these little two ounce bottles. They hold olive oil or avocado oil. Cleaning sponge. Cute little can opener. This thing rocks. We wanted this case of camping picnic stuff to be small and light. So we tried to keep things small and easy to use. Silicone scraper. We got some bowls here. Eight little bowls. We like stainless. They're very small, very light, durable. They won't break. You can beat them up. Mixing bowl. We've made pancakes, all kinds of goodies out of this bowl. Hot chocolate. We got a coffee or a tea kettle. Inside we keep our herbal tea. Everybody in the family likes herbal tea at our place. So we can heat water with this to do our dishes or to make tea or hot chocolate for the kids. One reason we put this container together was so that we could picnic and have good food when we're away from home. You can use it if you want to tailgate, you go to the park, you go to the zoo, anywhere that you can set up. We've set up in the beach, we've set up in Yellowstone. We also like the fact that we've got hard plates and bowls and cups that we can use. They're very sturdy. Plus we're not throwing away plastic and paper products. These are a few other items that we bring with us. We have this wool blanket that we can unfold and just eat anywhere on the ground if we don't happen to have a picnic table nearby. We have this fold up table, that way we can set up our Coleman stove on it. And then water, because that's always handy to have more water and we can use it for making tea or hot chocolate or for washing our dishes at the end. Here's a meal we frequently make using our picnic kit. Soup, tea, and grilled cheese is a great meal, especially because we often RV in the off season when it's a little colder. To put together a kit like this for yourself, find a box to store your ultimate kitchen tools in, a Tupperware or a tote. We use an Alu box. They are expensive, but we chose to invest in one because they are very sturdy, have a gasket seal lid, and we plan to take our family on lots of road trips. And these boxes came highly recommended for us. We really like having a picnic box because we can still have family meals even when we aren't at home. It provides our kids with consistency, and again, it's so much safer for our food allergies. Let us know what you use when you're out camping or road tripping, and thanks for watching.